After building our tiny house on wheels here in North America last year, we knew that we were going to be spending a lot more time here. We also knew we were going to need a truck to tow it with. Little did we know we would end up finding an ex-ambulance. Today, we're going to check it out. So, here she is. This here is a Chevy 2008 Kodiak. That's a C4500. She is a 6.6 .6 diesel with an Allison transmission. There is a tremendous amount of truck right here. In her former life, she was an ambulance. So she was uh, busy working for the ambulance department here in Missouri. She retired last year and we bought her right at the end of our tour. So the plan is because we never really expected to actually be purchasing an ambulance. Our plan is actually to now convert this into a campulance. So she's big enough to easily tow the tiny house on wheels with, but towing a tiny house on wheels isn't always convenient. So having the ability to actually detach and be able to just go on the road with the campulance is a super, super great asset. In fact, that really has come in very handy on this leg of the trip where we needed to actually cover a lot of ground in a very short amount of time. The tiny house was slowing us down a little bit too much, so we actually just hit the road for the last month with the campulance, which turned out to be an amazing experience. Right now, we haven't actually done too much with it. The plan is, as I said, later to do a full interior fit out. As it stands, the only modifications that I've made to the truck are to include a class five towing package. And we've also got a reversing camera installed, which was really, really useful. Obviously for legal reasons, we had to remove anything which said it was an ambulance or EMT or identifying markers and all of that sort of thing. Right now we do still have the star of life still on it, but we are going to be doing a full paint job or vinyl wrap or something in the future. I don't exactly know what that is just yet, but no doubt it's gonna look cool. One of the huge advantages to this is the storage. There is just a tremendous amount of storage both inside and outside the truck. Most of it right now is still unused because we just honestly have absolutely nothing to fill it with. But there are massive storage compartments like this one here, which would be awesome for like a surfboard or something in the future. Right now we do have a few things stored in here like some camping chairs and some camp kitchen supplies, but really there's a lot of undiscovered potential. In the future, I may even look at taking some of the exterior cubbies like this and maybe turning it into a shower or something like that. There's lots of potential here. She is a dually, so great for being on the road, great for towing. It is only a two-wheel drive. A four-wheel drive would have been really perfect, but sometimes mechanically they can be a little bit more trouble than they're worth. And this really was just such a great buy for us. Obviously, being an ambulance, there are sirens, there are lights, there are all of that sort of thing, which are still included in this vehicle. But for obvious reasons, we have actually removed all of the fuses and unplugged everything so that none of that is currently functional in this vehicle. Unfortunately, because that would have been so cool. Before I show you into the rear cab, let's head up into the cabin and I'll show you what's going on. All right, so this is the cabin. We're sitting quite high up, which is really nice. I've actually never owned a vehicle that has been even close to this size before. There are a lot of reminders in this truck from its ex-life as an ambulance. For example, this control panel right here. So this is where the computer would have once sat. This was the old siren controls. Over here is the instrument panel, which controls all of the flashing lights and that cool stuff, as well as things like the air horns. Still functioning though, we've got these ones down here, which control all of the lighting in the back, things like the rear AC, and it's really nice to be able to have all of that control right up here in the cab. Another really cool element of this truck, and something which makes it just so convenient when it actually comes to being on the road as a camper, is the lighting. So here, I also actually have control of the scene lights. So we've got rear lights, left and right scene lights, so we can actually light up any side of this truck that we want. One of the other really big advantages to this being an X ambulance is there's a lot of cool electronics that actually came with it as well. For example, right back here is a good sized battery bank and we've also got an inverter. So when the engine is running, we actually have one 10 volt power that's supplied all over the truck, which is really handy. 
Down here as well, Rasa also has her mobile desk. So that's just a tray which she uses to edit while she's sitting next to me. So here in the USA especially, we spend a lot of time driving. It's not unusual for us to spend one or two days on the road full time. Rasa doesn't normally drive here in the States because she would definitely kill us both. But instead, she is actually doing a lot of editing work, which is really cool. So she's actually able to edit the videos from right here next to me while I'm doing most of the driving. So that's actually been really nice. One of the other cool things about this is we can actually go immediately right back into the cabin without having to worry about exiting the vehicle first. So if it's pouring down with rain, we can actually just go straight from the driver's seats back into the main cabin. So let's go back and I'll show you the rest of it. So to access this truck, you can do it in two ways. Obviously the rear doors, these open right the way up and we can totally open the camper up. But our normal entrance is obviously the roadside door, which is right here. Let's go inside. And welcome to our home on the road. As you can see right now, she's pretty much as we got her. So a lot of this really just looks like she did when she was still in ambulance. You can see up here, we've even got all of the old latex gloves. This is where we're gonna be doing the vast majority of the conversion work in the future, but I thought it would be so cool just to show this to you right now as it is, just so you can see the potential that's in a vehicle like this. In here as well, you can see just like on the exterior, there is a tremendous amount of storage space in here. So for example, this cupboard right now, we're using to store our suitcases. We do still travel a lot and we do still pretty much live out of our suitcases. So a lot of our clothes never really end up getting taken out of them. But we do also have some of our more frequently used clothing items stored up there. Up in this compartment here, we're actually able to store all of our bedding. Again, the storage space in here really is fantastic. You can see we've got really nice deep drawers. These drawers actually all have these plastic dividers as well, so things can be nicely organized and they don't slide around too much when we're on the road. And to be honest, we've actually got more storage right now than we really know what to do with. Most of these drawers in here are still totally empty, which is a nice problem to have. Another really cool thing about this truck is it actually came with a fridge. So there's a 12 volt fridge here which runs off of the truck batteries. You can see as well that because it's an ex ambulance fridge, it's even got a lock on it. So there's actually a lock code that needs to be pressed in order to open that, which is kind of fun. Over here is the captain's area of the campulance. This instrument panel here still has all controls of things like the inverter, buzzer if you want to talk to the cabin. It's still got things like all of the lighting controls in here for everything. Obviously, you can see around here we do actually have some uh, oxygen outlets. The oxygen tanks have been removed from the ambulance for safety as well, obviously. But you can see we've still got outlets for both 12 volt power as well as 750 watts of 110 volt power, which is only usable right now when the engine is running. But we will actually be changing that as well because we plan to put full solar on this and install house batteries so that we can actually use a lot more electronics when the truck is not on. Right now we have actually been using this area here as a bit of a workstation too. So it's quite a comfortable place to set up the laptop and work when you need to. There is so much seating in this truck. So you can see right now I'm in the captain's chair. There's another single seater here. There's a two seater over here. And these ones both have a lot of storage under them. So there really is just so much space for putting things like under here where we have our drone, some other equipment. And another thing that I really like about this is all of the seat belts. So for example, when traveling with my guitar or if we're carrying anything that needs to be strapped into place, we actually have these seat belts as well that go horizontally over here and fix. So there's lots of ability to just tie down things so they don't move in here, which is really nice. I really like that the Campulance actually has the possibility of seating so many people back here. And it's gonna be one of the big challenges that we face when actually doing the interior conversion, because this is obviously the area that makes the most sense to turn into a bed. But it's also kind of challenging because I really want to be able to do it in a way where all of the legal seating is still kept in place. So I don't know exactly what to do about that right now, but I'm going to figure it out before next year. Now, unfortunately, I am a little bit too tall to be able to stand up in the campulence. It's not too bad though. I just have to kind of hunch myself around in here. But while I'm up here, 
these are super cool. So we've got these stainless steel bars. To be honest, I don't really know what they were used for in the ambulance. I suppose it was just to actually give somebody something to hold on to while they were moving around the gurney and working. But while on the road, we've actually been able to use them for hanging and for doing some working out, which has been really cool. So let's talk about what the future plans are. To be honest, I really don't know exactly what we're gonna do with the interior of this ambulance just yet. So much of it, how it is right now, is already really working, and I think probably the big thing is just gonna to be to make some aesthetic changes. For example, the vinyl on the walls and all of that sort of thing really is quite cold, quite clinical, so we'd really like to use some timber to be able to warm that up a bit. One of the other things that I really wanna do in this space is add a kitchenette. So this bench top here will probably actually replace with something really nice and wooden that'll also help to warm up the space, and then obviously installing a sink and a faucet to get some running water in here, which would also be really nice. I have to admit, when I first bought the ambulance, Russa was a little bit apprehensive. I think she went through a good five or six sage sticks just trying to clear all the spirits out of here. Uh, not that I actually think there were any spirits in here. And if they were, an ambulance is only ever trying to help people, so I don't think they would have been bad ones. Actually, it's quite funny because after she saged it was the first time we had any mechanical trouble, so maybe they weren't too happy with trying to get kicked out of their home too. But we'll never know. When it comes to sleeping at night, this space right here in the middle is actually our bed. So we just got a little twin bed, uh, which is an inflatable. So when we arrive in place, we keep the car running a bit longer. So we've still got the power, which we can actually just use to inflate the mattress each night. That has been surprisingly comfortable. It's definitely a cozy size, and I'm definitely looking forward to expanding on this concept in the future to actually create a larger sleeping area. But for the two of us, it's actually been really fine, and we've had a lot of very cozy nights under the stars here in this campulance, which has been awesome. So, here it is, our campulance pre-conversion. There is still a lot to be done here, but just so much potential sitting in this box right behind me and I'm so excited to get stuck into the project. If you've got any ideas and things that you would love to see us do to this campulence, be sure to throw them down in the comments below because I would love to hear your ideas. When I bought this ambulance, there were 75,000 miles on it. We've put on another 10,000 miles already here on the road. We do just spend a lot of time traveling. As you can see from our videos, we're not actually flying from place to place, we are driving. So it's really been an amazing home away from home for us over the last month. A lot of you are probably wondering what we paid for this campulance. We actually totally lucked out on this. We got an amazing deal on it. And even after installing the tow package and making a few modifications to it, like the reversing camera and a new stereo system, we are still all in for under 15,000 US dollars, which is just the absolute score of the century as far as we're concerned. It really is a great truck for a great price. And I think it really just goes to show that if you keep on hunting, if you keep looking around, there really are still some deals to be found out there. Soon we're gonna be traveling back to New Zealand and this project is gonna be waiting for us when we come back to North America in 2019. And then we're gonna be doing the full conversion and I am so excited to show you that one. As always, thank you so much to all of you who subscribe and watch this channel. It really means a lot to us. We love creating this show and being able to actually travel the world, meet all of these truly wonderful and incredible people is just such a gift. And Having a nice place for us to actually call home on the road has just helped to make that experience so much better for us. So just so grateful to be able to be having this experience. Hopefully you've enjoyed this tour of our new wheels. As I said before, if you do have any ideas for this conversion, please do throw them down in the comments. We're gonna be getting stuck fully into this conversion project when we're back in 2019, so I can use lots and lots of ideas. Next week, of course, as always, we're gonna be back with a brand new video tour. So, I'll see you then.